Alright guys, now as I mentioned in the previous video, we will be creating our first app. So let's start by creating a virtual environment and I'm going to use Conda for it. So Conda create name or name it BS and I have the Python as 3.7. Uh, you can choose any version you want, so but I suggest you use the latest version as 3.8. I am guessing, but we we'll stick with 3.7. And this way, as created this box will be possible. Okay, so it's done. So uh, we'll activate it. So going to activate BS. And since we are using Django, we are we are installing Django, we will install Django, and we will also be using Pillow for as I mentioned earlier, this way all exact websites are we will need images, so we are gonna use Pillow for it. So I'll say pip install Pillow. Wait, oh, yeah, pip install Pillow. Why right, should I? PIL load W so W enter and so start okay now we'll create our first we'll start our project so Django start project our project name we will name it, uh, name it as BS so our project simulator we'll just check it out uh, Really there it is, so yes, and I'll uh, just open it in uh, my visual code editor. So, code space dot. I mean, basically, it means open this directly in the visual code. And as you can see, there's the Python manager PY file and the init PY settings. Here is PR PY. I'm sure you know, so I'll So I'll just move, uh, move my static files. We're gonna use Bootstrap 4.1 and uh, uh, JavaScript files and I'll upload this file in my GitHub repo so you can download it. We'll also be using custom made index file about file listing pages, etc. Uh, so that uh, this project does not extend. I'm gonna, you know, maximize it. Minimize the time we take from this project. Of course, you can uh, design your own HTML pages. Yeah, do so, and I suggest doing that only. But if you really want to stick to my video, you can always download from the app. I'll post the link below. And as I mentioned earlier, since we are going to use CSS as static, well, I'll rename it to static and I'll define it in the settings of UI. So we're going to use static root and give it, uh, we'll join it as os.path.join. And uh, we'll join it to base directory and, and base direct static. And we also define our static files directories. So static files. DIRS is equal to uh, so we are going to list it and it will gonna, it's, it's going to be list and we are going to join os.path.join or you know this directory and we are going to you know give the directs the location of the static file so it's under bs and static so bs slash static so i think that's done so we'll also define since we already in the settings of gy we will also define our media role since we want to upload media files so media root will be equal to media underscore root is equal to os dot path os dot path dot join base tag slash um, comma media and when i mention base directory is basically the directory 
where we have a main start UI. So everything including our apps and our static files, media files, all will come under our page directory and you know after that so add media and we will also add our media URL so media URL media underscore URL is equal to slash media slash that's it now uh, I think we will create our first tab um, as I mentioned we probably want to use Postgres not the default as well like see because Postgres is more flexible uh, more better than SQLite 3 so we will also have to install Postgres we will also using an app called PG admin and you can find the official documentations in the website so let's start by creating our new app and we are gonna we are gonna have several apps called and we to import several apps such as contacts accounts listings pages and also like cover app under which we will create users by default Django has a model for users but since we want to customize it we are gonna have to redefine the models we're gonna redefine the functions such as create user and create users create super users uh, I'll explain about it more in the coming videos so I think I'll start it's it. yeah so I think I'll start by creating a new app so Falcon minus of voice of app for which we are not not Location it so this is what it is and ls yeah so this is the location so python and dot ui start app our app name will start with pages so pages right so as you can see the pages has been created we'll just check it in our usual code yeah there it is pages now uh, i think we'll create templates so I'll just name it templates and remember the most you have to name it according to the convention given by Django so we can name it pages since all those HTML files which would be redirected from pages should be under templates slash pages then whatever the HTML file is so as I told you, we'll be using custom made index and about pages, but for now, we are just created. And let's define our urls.py. And since we are defining urls.py in our pages app, we have to include it in our main urls.py. So I'm going to import include from jungle.urls since it's our home page. Uh, I'll just leave it blank and I'll say include. Yeah, so I'll say include and pages dot urls. Pages is just a app name dot urls. So we are importing urls from pages. So we'll just save it. Settings will save it. We'll import urls. And I'm going to bring in a path. So from Django dot urls, import path. And also, we also need our views. So, from dot import views, dot is the base, dot is the directory which we are in. So, from dot import views, when you are patterns, we define it as your patterns is equal to 
we're gonna have two pages index and about under pages so we will say part since index page is gonna be our default page we are gonna leave that blank and we will say views dot index is comma and we'll name it as index itself and also for part about we will do dot views dot about comma name is for the about right so I'll just save this For now, we are not going to import any models or anything, so we will just create two functions where uh, we will render out our HTML files. But later on, we will be importing listings and all. But for now, let's just render, render out uh, two index and the bot HTML files. So we define a function index and the bot. So on the index, we will be including the parameter request and we will return the render HTML file return render request comma or HTML file location that is pages slash index.html for now I don't think it's been created yet so we we'll create it later first let me define the error of page 2 since for now there's no context to be passed on we'll just leave blank and we'll just define our about page define about and function about request return enter request comma Pages slash about Save it. We also save it, and we we'll create our index and about it. So index dot html. And about dot html. So in the body we say about an index we just define a heading index. So it's an index. Save so it. We'll try to run the server, Python manage.py run server. And I'll just check it in my browser and we'll use some Chrome for it. Don't worry about the migrations, we'll apply it after creating models. So I'm um, we'll just go to something so one eight thousand huh that's an error it seems. Uh, yeah I forgot to add uh, yeah I forgot to add templates under settings. So we we'll just go to settings.py go to templates and under why we are doing this is because normally as i said it goes to our app and checks it but since there's nothing in it and we define the template folder we have to give it under our templates under settings and we have to give the directory as os.path.join and we will be based there comma templates so on the base directory there will be a folder called templates in which all our pages or all our templates will be saved that's what we are basically meaning in this sentence and if you want to take new folders or new templates that you can always change it and it also yeah now it's working now check about oh right i forgot i don't think i mentioned about the yeah, right forgot so about slash and we'll just see about and that works too. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we will be customizing your index and about HTML. Uh, I already customized it so that you don't, you know. So I'm trying to minimize this course, minimize the length of each video to keep it under 20 minutes. And so since I already customized everything, uh, it should be there in the GitHub. If you want, you can use a customized web pages. And for static, I I think you should use the static files you provided because I'm going to use Bootstrap 4.4. So that's it. Thank you.